dreams are coming true on Meredith. Who doesn't wash your wish in the wish booth? And you didn't wish for yourself. Our wish booth is on the road all week. <laughs> Next stop, Dallas. You got me going now. <laughs> then, Dancing with the Stars, Tony Dovolani reveals the dance that drives women wild. Plus, the OC's Adam Brody is here, making sweet music with Meredith. Right now on Meredith. It's Wish Booth Week, and we are making dreams come true for people all across America. This time, we headed to Dallas, Texas, to hear what the people in the Lone Star State are wishing for. As the saying goes, everything is bigger in Texas. And when we set up our Wish Booth at Pioneer Plaza in Dallas, we found that people in this southern city have big wishes and big hearts. My wish is for my daughter, Alana, to live closer to me. My wish today is for my son, Tanner, to get a scholarship for college. My wish is for the children at the daycare. I just wish that they have a wonderful Christmas. 40-year-old Michelle Brown has dedicated her life to caring for children, six of them her own, 67 of them at the daycare she owns. My daycare is located in a low-income area. They don't know they're in poverty. They come there with great spirits and we have a great time. It's my job while I'm with them to give them the things that they can't get at home. Michelle goes so above and beyond for the children, she even picks them up and drives them home in her own car. I started transporting kids in my own vehicle to get them to daycare safely. I just try to do the things that, that's going to keep, keep our kids safe in our community. And at Christmas, she loves to play Santa for her kids. I ask them to, to write a wish list and then I go out and, you know, with, with my own money and try to get at least one thing on that list for them. So just sit there and watch them, open them. You can see the joy in their faces. But the number of children coming to the daycare has almost doubled in the last year. Far more than Michelle can handle with her own wallet. Money, it, it, it's a struggle. It, it really is. I worry about being able to provide for them the things that I usually do around Christmas. But I'm not giving up because I know I have a job and obligation to these kids. I have a, uh, my obligation is to make their life better. Well, we told a little fib to get Michelle on a plane from Texas to be here today. She thinks that she's one of many people whom we brought to meet with our producers. She has no idea that she's actually here to have her wish granted in front of all of you. Our talent coordinator, Anders, is about to bring her out. Michelle? Yes. Hi, how are you? I'm Anders. Hi. Hi. Pleasure to meet you. You too. Um, I was coming to bring you up to meet the producers upstairs. Okay. Yeah. If you wouldn't okay. mind following me, please. Okay. Okay, you're going to be fine. Okay. Okay. Love okay. You. Love you too, Jennifer. <laughs> How's your day going? Great. Yeah. So far, so good. So far, so good. <laughs> From Dallas, right? Yes. Yeah. Dallas, Texas. First time in New York. Oh, yeah? You like yeah. it so far? Yes. <laughs> That's good. Good to know. you're doing here today? No, I don't. <laughs> I, they said I was going to meet some producers. Yeah. And I, maybe I get to meet you. Well, here I am. Here you are. Yeah. Oh, we just goodness. wash your wish in the wish booth. And you oh. didn't wish for yourself in Dallas. You had to wish for your kids to have a wonderful Christmas. Yeah. Why was that so important to you? Why that wish? Uh, the kids are so happy. They don't know that they're doing without, you know. And I just want them to have such an amazing Christmas, you know. <sighs> Tell me about the wish list that you have the kids make every year. Well, I have them to write down three things that they would want for Christmas. And on that list, I try to at least get one thing off that list for them every year so that we can have a Christmas party. And I usually have a Christmas party, and they all sit around the tree and sing songs and open gifts. And that's just 
They love it. Yeah, that's so they special. And that may be the only gift they get. Yeah, so it's special. Well, we have a, a little surprise for you, Michelle. Joining us now via Skype are your kids from Katie's Little Angel. <laughs> hey, Gary and Dallas. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I think they love you. Well, I have some special news for you kids. Listen up now. Miss Michelle visited our wish booth when we came to Dallas. And do you know what she wished for? She wished for all of you to have the best Christmas in the whole world. So, you know, guess what? <laughs> Christmas what? is coming early for you guys because we're making Miss Michelle's wish come true. You're all going to a Build a Bear workshop in Dallas to make your very own bears. <laughs> That's not all, okay? Michelle, Learning Express Toys of Dallas, a place where you can get all sorts of creative educational toys, heard about your story. They're giving you a 2500 gift card to help you check up all the items on every kid's wish list. So all of those items. <laughs> okay. And, you know, Build-A-Bear is great, and these educational toys are great, but you could really use a computer lab, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. So we're getting yes. you started with four HP laptop computers <laughs> for the older kids. Michelle, you're a wonderful person. And what you do for these children is uh, is so important. Oh my God. You didn't need us to give them a special Christmas. You do it every year, but we wanted to help you make this one even a little more special. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for everything you do. And we wish you a Christmas season and a new year filled with love and joy. Thank you. You've got me going now. <laughs> if you want to make a wish or know someone who deserves to have a wish granted, just go to our digital wish booth at MeredithVieraShow.com. This is why we do it. We'll be right back. <laughs>